Alec Baldwin thinks he's a tough guy. I challenge him a million dollars to charity he wants to get in the ring with me. Bare knuckle. I will. I'll do it right now. I'll get in the ring with you, and I will break your jaw. I will knock your teeth out. I will break your nose, and I will break your neck. You coward. You think you're a tough guy messing with little cameraman people. You want to sit there and defame me and the president? Get in a ring with me. I will break your jaw in seconds. I will smash your nose into a bloody pulp, and I will rack your teeth out. My fists are going to be bleeding with your teeth marks all over them. You freaking bully. You coward. I hate you. My listeners hate you. And remember that scumbag forever. People, I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap. I'm sick of being social engineered. It's not funny. Now, a lot of times, people ask me why I do confrontational things. I don't do as much as I used to. It's because the globalists are confronting us. They're getting in our face. They're doing things to us. And they're taking our data. And it's time we just give them a little bit of the aggressiveness they give us to illustrate how what they do is hidden hand. What they do is digital. The real power in this world is still, and will get even more powerful in the future, physical. As less people get physical, as less people deal in third dimension and use their mind for fourth and fifth dimension thinking, what we're doing right now is where it's all at. Let's go in. Hello, ma'am. Alex Jones, how are you doing? I'm well, sir. How are you? Good, good. This looks like an exciting event tonight. How are you doing? Alex Jones. Infowars.com and here visiting our buddies at Google. What are you guys about to do here tonight? Actually, we don't uh, allow recording in here. Well, but Google told me in an update that it uses the camera and microphone to listen to me in my house. Just one second. I mean, you don't allow recording in here, but you got our camera right there on the computer that Google says it uses to watch people. I'm a little confused by that. I mean, we got everybody getting roped in here, and then we're just here with a camera. I mean, Google's got its cameras on all our computers. We use Google watching us. I mean, just explain that to me. How can he say we shouldn't have a camera in here when Google is all about selling our data? And, 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 and the interviews, I'm sorry. You yeah. just listen to us inside our houses without asking and try to take our cars over? Is that all? You lobby government to take our cars away? Anyway, so I guess my medical doctor's bad, too. Because you're the amazing Randy, a big beard. You expose people that bend spoons. Oh, I'm not bending spoons, jackass. You and George Soros and Snopes can sit up there all day and go, these crazy right-wingers think there's a world government forming. They think the NSA's spying on them. <laughs> I'm the amazing Randy. I look back and found stuff he said 10 years ago that Jones thinks they're spying on the public. Ridiculous. I'm the amazing Randy. And then you go to watch the movie, and it's all him and his boyfriend. I mean, it's just like, what? What? Everyone's like, oh. Uh. It's, it's like you've gone on a Mars mission, or you discovered the God gene, or you, you saved humanity, or you crossed the Bering Strait. It, oh, my gosh, you're so accomplished. Wow. Wow. You sleep with a guy. Whoa. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Obama thinks U.S. sovereignty overrated should cede freedoms to U.N. I am convinced that in the long run, giving up, some freedom of action enhances our security. I mean, I mean listen, Ted Bundy would get 16-year-old girls in his yellow Volkswagen. He bought it because it was non-threatening. He'd wear little gray suits and act nerd, leave it handsome, and say, hey, I'd like to take you out for some ice cream in a movie. And they were young girls. He knew not to target older ones that were smart or, or worldly. And he'd get them in the car, and he'd take them, and he'd say, listen, I got a gun. I'm going to blow your head off, bitch. But if you put these handcuffs on, I'm going to be real nice. And he's, listen, bitch, I'm going to call you a racist and blow your head off, okay, and send a SWAT team. This is what the media is doing. You don't put these freaking handcuffs on. She put the handcuffs on, he'd right in the nose. Good. You come with me. He'd hold her by the hair and drive her to his house with a basement. He took, he'd drive in that garage. He'd take her in there for a good two weeks of hardcore torture. That's what Obama just told you. Listen, you give up a little bit of freedom of action. You let me tie your arms and legs up. I'm going to take real good care of you. You understand me? There's no world government. NBA players like LeBron James ugh, and Stephen Curry will deliver the message. Oh, yeah. A big, bloated, narcissistic, arrogant guy that says he's King James. He, as if, oh, he treats the women so well. He will, oh, LeBron. And they're running around celebrating in the streets downtown. Donald Trump, Donald Trump. People walk up, ha ha, how do you like it? Donald Trump's been discredited. 
as if that even matters. It's all just the faux story, the rebel flag, the Donald Trump, the Caitlyn Jenner. Will he have his member removed? I, I mean, this is like a PCP hallucination. What do you think? Your boy, Trump's in trouble. And I go, Donald Trump's never been my boy. I think he's a ringer. Oh, yeah, sure. You're losing right now. You're losing. You're losing. You're losing. I'm like, uh, no, actually, what he's saying is the truth. I mean, Mexico's collapsed in a total crime wave. I mean, are you denying the illegal alien crime wave? <laughs> you people never get it. <laughs> Your time's over. Your time's over. You're, and you'll be looking at some liberal with non-matching socks that they wear like they're God. I don't care if you're wearing non-matching socks. I don't care if you got a handlebar mustache. I don't care. But the fact that you have it, you think you've now like attained godhood, that you're so ignorant, you don't know what July 4th is, but you're running around celebrating, we're the Democrats, we're winning, Donald Trump's in trouble. To death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Many... Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That's why you're going to fail, and the establishment knows, no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. My family in the Texas Revolution against Santa Ana, my family was at the core on both sides starting that because Santa Ana came to take the guns at Gonzales, Texas. Pierce? Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. You finished? <laughs> okay, now we've got it blown up one more time. Seriously, you're watching this. It, this is not how you open a can, okay? And, I, and I've got four different containers here. I've already opened one earlier as a test just to make sure my memory was serving me correct. I probably opened 300 of these in my life or more. Okay, and I've got different brands here. It's all the same. You pop them open. You pop them open. That's why if your hands are greasy, it's hard to do or sweaty. You pop them. You don't turn them like it's peanut butter or jelly or something or like you're opening up, you know, a can of fertilizer or whatever. It's popped. It's vacuum sealed. It's vacuum sealed. Okay, boom. See that? Pop. Now dripping all over the mouse pad here. Excuse me. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, continuing, here is a larger uh, container of Vlasic. And, again, now my hands are wet, just what I was talking about. This is not product placement. Again, you will notice, you don't open it going like this, and then it pops off. You open it by pressuring down and popping. Look at that, I can't even really get it open because my hands are wet. See, that's how strong I am. But Hillary Clinton, that's God. Look at that. I am so weak. Also hurt my hand last week. I am so weak. I can't even open this. This is real. This is really happening. I'm, I'm, I have, well, where's Hillary Clinton when you need her? I mean, I don't want to look like I'm not manly here. Sometimes you got to bang this off of a table. I guess we got one that was really tough. I can't. This might happen one out of 50. I can't even open this. But Hillary Clinton can. I mean, this is the level of bull we're dealing with here. Okay? Let's see. There we go. So you have to pop it, ladies and gentlemen. You have to pop it. My hands were wet. Really on there, though. Um, let me try this one. This is a smaller Vlasic. Now the whole office can enjoy some pickles today. Um, continuing. I almost broke my hand a few weeks ago. Remember the whole trading punches with Weldon Henson, which I will not be doing again. I am not 20 years old anymore. Um, I'm going to show you again. If it... Can we zoom in on this to show people what Hillary did? She claims she went around, and then it just comes right off like that, but she does this whole fake like she's straining. In fact, let me copy Hillary Clinton real quick. Give me a wide shot. I'm making a Bernie Sanders sound. Going in a big circle, and then it comes off. They, they, they don't come off like, like that. They come off like pressure. Just open it. That's how they come off. I saw Google got caught in a bunch of new stuff. And then they, when they talked to their, uh, one of their presidents, they said, but we wear fluffy socks.
That's in my stack. They're like, what about Google getting hacked and all your passcodes being taken and Google spying on people? We wear fluffy socks. Almost every photo of Warren Buffett, a master wicked operative involved with his banks with money laundering, tra narcotics trafficking, that's in Bloomberg, AP Reuters. But in almost every photo, he goes, I'm just a little old man. And he goes, ice cream. Google Warren Buffett's name and click images, almost every images. And he goes, ice cream. And it's like Google goes, "Where I'm wearing a pink and a green sock and I got a little beard and I talk like this. You know what those guys do when they get on jets? They go, bring me 15 hookers now and get the drugs ready and take me to the private island. <sighs> get the satanic rituals ready. I'm literally, folks, I've been at the highest levels of Hollywood, okay?